All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over Facebook lead ads, also referred to as Facebook lead generation campaigns. Um, so we're in Facebook Ads Manager right now. To get started with these campaigns, the first thing you need to do is actually accept the lead ads terms of service. So just come to this URL at the top here. We'll also put it in our video description. Um, but you just have to come here, read through this real quick, um, select your page from the drop down if you have multiple pages you're managing, click accept and then that's it. Pretty simple. Um, so coming back into Ads Manager here, what we're going to do is create our lead generation campaign. Um, what I want to do first is come into Asset Library. So uh, you click on the menu at the top here, and we're going to come to Assets and Audiences. Um, so what we're going to be targeting today are going to be three different lookalike audiences. It's going to be our newsletter lookalike, our website traffic lookalike, and our page likes lookalike. Um, so kind of all self-explanatory, like where the sources come from. So we've uploaded our... Uh, newsletter here, our email list, our page likes just derives right from all of our page likes on our page, and then website traffic is from our Facebook pixel on our website, and then we've just created the lookalikes off of all three of them. Um, you can see these two are still populating, we just created them, so they'll get up to 2.1 million, but Facebook is constantly trying to find the best people for your audiences, so just keep that in mind as you go. Um, so what we're going to do is come back to Ads Manager here, and click on Create to create a new campaign. So our objective is going to be under consideration. We're going to choose lead generation. So our goal is going to be drive leads for our business. So click on lead generation here um, and just name your campaign, whatever your goal is really like. So if you want to do email list lead generation, something like that. So we'll do email list lead generation. So you don't have to worry about a split test unless you want Facebook to manage your split test and campaign spending limit. You can set these just in case um, we're not going to right now. So coming into the ad sets, you can create all of your ad sets separately and just target, you know, whatever the audiences you want to use. If maybe you have a saved couple different saved audiences you want to try to use, um, what we're going to do is create multiple new ad sets here at the top. Um, select our Facebook page, Surfside PPC, and we want to add three different custom audience variations here. So our first one is going to be, we're going to go to our lookalike audience here and we actually have to search them. So we'll do Surfside PPC newsletter lookalike. Last but not least is our page likes look like audience. So we have our three different audiences here. If you want to add different variations for location, age ranges, you can. Um, but what it's going to do is keep multiplying your ad sets. So you don't really want to have too many ad sets running because it becomes kind of more difficult to manage and optimize everything. So for us, we're going to be running three different ad sets, each at $20 a day. So a total of $60 daily. Um, and then we'll be able to optimize pretty easily from there. Um, we're not going to add any detail targeting or anything else like that. Um, so for placements, what we want to do is keep automatic placements. So it's automatically going to be shown in the Facebook feed, the Instagram feed, and Facebook instant articles. Um, it's not available for a lot of the other placements. Uh, as you can see here, it's only available for those three. Um, so you can't run on the audience network or messenger or anything like that. Just certain places where the lead forms can actually show. So we'll just do automatic placements. Uh, so optimization and ad delivery, you're obviously optimizing for leads. Uh, bid amount, we just keep automatic, and everything else stays the same. Budget and scheduling, you can distribute it differently. So you could do balanced distribution based on audience size. So all of our audiences are going to be 2.1 million people since they're just 1% lookalikes. Um, if you create different audiences that have smaller sizes, you can do this, but I just prefer to use even distribution. I think it's better that way. Um, scheduling, I do prefer to set a schedule, so we'll just run hours to the end of the month. We'll do March 13th to the end of March. Okay, we'll click on continue here. So now we're getting into the uh, ads, but what we want to do first is actually name our ad sets so we can tell them apart because um, they're all going to be kind of similar right now. So we'll do newsletter lookalike. Okay, so we have all three named here so we can actually see them. If you want to update budgets or anything like that, you can. We'll click on continue. Um, so we're going to create two different ads here and we're going to do single image ads. If you do carousel ads, which you can try to do, the only thing to keep in mind is um, each, it doesn't really make sense to run a bunch of different carousel ads for one single lead form. Um, maybe if you have different offers or different things that would get people to subscribe. But for us, it's really just we want to promote our book using a single image and we would just want people to complete our lead form after they see our book. So uh, we're going to browse our library here because we already uploaded two different ads image ads, we recommend using at least two image ads. It helps you test everything better. Um, the recommended image size for Facebook is 1200 by 628. For Instagram, it's 1080 by 1080. Um, usually I'd use a different image for the Instagram feed, but we'll just let this one run right there. That's fine. Um, so now you get your text, your display link, your headline, your newsfeed link description, your call to action. So this is really where you want to 
promote whatever it is you want people to do. So maybe you're trying to drive leads for, you know, an accounting business you have. Maybe you have a product releasing in a month and you want uh, some initial, you know, people talking about it, some engagement going on with your product. Uh, this is where you kind of promote whatever it is. So for us, we're going to be trying to promote our free ebook download here, how to promote your website or business online in 2018. So I'm going to fill out my text and everything like that, and then I'll go through it. Okay, so this is what our ad's going to look like in the mobile news feed. You can see different ad previews here. Uh, if you just scroll through everything. So what we have here up at the top is free ebook download, how to promote your business online in 2018. We'll add a exclamation point here for a little bit of excitement. Um, so our display link is going to be Surfside PPC that shows up at the bottom here. Headline, this is really where you want to promote whatever your main offer is. So for us, it's a free business growth ebook. We want people who are struggling to grow their business to see this ebook and say, okay, I have to download this and see what they say. Um, newsfeed links description, not as important, but just you can ask a question. You can just add some additional text to help support it. And then call to action, whatever you want people to do. So, you know, get quote, maybe you're like a car company and you want people to kind of sign up and see how much it's going to cost for a new car. There's different things like this that you can do. Uh, so for us, it's going to be download. Um, any conversion tracking is going to be through our pixel. Now here's where we create our lead form. So we've created a couple lead forms in the past. So if you already have one, you just select it here and click submit. Um, so what we're going to do is click on new form here so I can go through how to create a new form. First we'll title it. So we'll just go Surfside PPC lead generation. Okay, so you have two different options for form types. You have more volume. So this is where just a single submit and then you have higher intent, which involves a double opt-in where people actually have to click submit. Then they visit a review screen. They have to click submit again. Uh, we're just going to do more volume to try to get more people to fill it out. Don't We don't want anybody to really drop off. So um, intro will include your image at the top here. So for us, we prefer to use the 1200 by 628 from our ad. So we just have it selected here. Use the image from your ad. If you just want to use one image for your form, you can. Um, so that's really up to you. Your headline is going to be at the top here. So this is where you kind of want to down, uh, kind of want to show whatever it is your main offer is. So for us, it's going to be download our free ebook to grow your business today. Okay. And then for layout, so the text down here is going to be, it's going to be in between right here. You can't see anything right now. So uh, what we're going to do is going to be similar to our news feed link description. I was going to copy and paste it, but we'll just do, are you struggling to grow your business? Download our free ebook for online marketing strategies. Okay, so something to kind of promote and sell whatever it is you want people to do. Um, so that's all the intro is, just those texts and up top here. Um, so questions, this is going to be your form. Um, so first you have the text up top here. So we have enter your information for your free download. Okay. So now user information. So now this is where you can control all the different fields that you can add to your form. Uh, so if you click on show more options here, you can see you can add a phone number, a street address. So people have to fill out all these different things before they click on submit. Uh, the thing to keep in mind is the more you add here, so if you put on phone number, street address, city, state, the more you add, the less people are actually going to be inclined to fill out. So if you just go full name and email or just name, email, whatever it is, uh, people are going to be more likely to fill things out than if you ask them for more information up front. So just something to keep in mind. Um, <clears throat> if you see that your conversion rate isn't great because you have a really long form, you might want to kind of cut things down a little bit and maybe just start with their full name and email and try to get some of this other stuff later after you start you know, trying to sell to them a little bit. So the other thing you could do is a custom question. So maybe you want to add a multiple choice. For example, I could do, you know, what PPC advertising services are you looking for? Google AdWords, Bing ads, you know, whatever. Uh, short answer, I can say, you know, please describe what it is you're looking for. So things like that. Also appointment scheduling. So this is pretty cool if you want to do a lead form and you can get people to set up an appointment. Maybe you could just talk to them within a couple days. So pretty easily. Pretty easy thing here with questions. You have a lot of options for what you can do with your lead form. So definitely you want to play around in here to try to learn all the different things you can do. Um, but the longer you make your lead form, the less likely people are going to be to fill it out. So privacy policy, you're required to link to your privacy policy because you're going to be collecting customer information. Um, if you're going to be doing anything special with the information that's different than your privacy policy, you have to add a custom disclaimer. Um, so we're not going to be. So for us, it's just going to be privacy policy. And our link will be... So that's it for privacy policy and then thank you screen. So after people click on submit, um, you can customize this here. So we could do, you know, thanks, comma, your ebook will be emailed to you. Um, and then here for the description, you could do something like visit our website for more digital 
marketing information. The other thing I could do is do visit our YouTube channel because that would obviously make sense for people. So different things like that. Um, obviously, if you're not able to email their ebook directly to them, then you need to send them a website link with the book download. Or if it's something like that where, uh, you know, if the thank you screen is where you're going to be giving them whatever it is they just filled out, this is where you want to give it to them and, you know, add your website link here. Uh, so for us, we're going to be integrating ours with MailChimp. So when people fill out our lead form on Facebook, they'll actually be sent the ebook directly to their email because we have it all automated. Um, so that's kind of how we want to do it. So if you want to do it that way, it's, it's a lot easier. And we'll show you some of the integrations that they have uh, after this step. So, um, so our website link, we'll just do view website and we could do visit our website. Um, so for website link here, uh, we like to track our URLs using Google Analytics. Um, so what we're going to do is come into the Google URL builder here. Um, you can come to this page at the top. Uh, so we've gone over this in other tutorials before, but you can track custom campaigns in Google Analytics by adding a couple parameters to the end of your URL. So we're just going to send people right to our homepage. Um, and then in Google Analytics, we want our campaign source to be Facebook. Campaign medium will be cost per click. Our campaign name will be Surfside PPC lead generation. Campaign term and content, you actually have to change for each individual ad. So this is something we're going to have to go through and do. Um, but we'll just start with our newsletter lookalike lead form ad one. Um, so again, so for each different lead form ad, it has to be newsletter lookalike lead form ad one and two. And then it has to be lead form ad one for email list lookalike. So you kind of have to update your term and content. Term applies to each ad set. Content applies to each ad. So we're going to copy the URL, come back to our ads manager, enter our website link, and that's it. So now our form is all done. So the only thing we have to do is click save and finish. Okay, so we have our form here that we want to use, Surfside PPC lead generation. Um, we're going to connect our CRM after this step. So what we want to do is click on confirm here to confirm the our campaign. Okay, so now we're pretty much done. But the last thing we have to do is, so we have our campaign here. Um, we have our three different ad sets. And then our we have two ads for each ad set. So you can see here, obviously we want to go through and change our tracking URLs for every single ad. Um, so that's the first thing we want to do. Um, but after that, and we're not going to do that step in front of you, but after that, what you want to do is come over to your page. So we have our page open here and come into your, we'll just show you starting from the Facebook page. So we're in our uh, Facebook page. We're managing it directly through business manager here. So what we want to do is click on publishing tools. And it, publishing tools will show you all of your different published posts, scheduled posts, different things like that, your reach, clicks, actions. Obviously, you can see we don't get a ton of reach. Uh, we kind of have to grow our Facebook page a little bit. But if we scroll down a little bit to the left, you can see lead ads forms. So any of the forms you're currently working on will be in your draft forms library. We have nothing there, but this is just where they'll save if you're working on a form and it gets, uh, you know, you close out your browser or something like that. Um, your forms library is where all of your forms that you've completed and finished are. Um, so you can see that here. If you click on preview, you can see what the form looks like. Obviously, the image will be at the top here based on our ad image. Um, but you could kind of see what your form looks like. And then as people start filling it out, you'll get a leads count here and you can download your leads. Um, so it just makes things a lot easier. You don't want to do boost here. Just do the lead generation campaigns the way we just showed you. Um, but the other thing you can do here is under lead setup. If you click on step one, find your CRM, there, there's a search box at the top here. There's hundreds of CRMs that you could choose from. So if I just enter A, it'll bring up a list of all sorts of CRMs. So what we're going to do is do MailChimp. So all we would have to do is click on MailChimp, click Connect, and we can complete the connection so that we connect to our CRM, which is MailChimp. And when leads fill out our uh, lead form, we can add them directly to our main newsletter for Surfside PPC. And once people get added, once their email is added to our main newsletter, they'll get sent our ebook. So that's why we can set up our campaign the way that we did. And this is really all you have to do, just do uh, Facebook lead forms. Uh, instead of sending people to your website and trying to get them to go to your you know, newsletter page or something like that, so we have our newsletter page here, rather than sending them to our website like this, and having them try to fill out this form, click sign up now. We could just let them stay right on Facebook, fill out their everything really easily with one of our ads, and they'll be sent our ebook right away. And it should help our overall conversion rate and everything like that. And um, as you can see here, if you're under campaigns, it'll show results and it'll show it in terms of lead form and your cost per result will be your cost per lead. So your whole goal is to optimize for those leads. It doesn't matter how many clicks you get. It doesn't matter how many impressions you get. Your whole goal is to optimize for leads and that's what Facebook is going to do for you. So Facebook lead ads, definitely something to try if, you, if you're if you trying to drive leads for your business. You might not be able to drive, you know, like qualified B2B business leads or things like that. But if you're trying to, you know, increase your email list or 
um, advertise a new product or something like that. There's all sorts of different ways that you can advertise it use the lead, using Facebook lead forms. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and thank you for watching our video today.